Hey everybody, it's Brooke with The Buttered Home and welcome to my messy kitchen. Today we have a wonderful crock pot recipe to highlight with you today. We are gonna be doing cowboy beans. This is easy, a lot of it can be done ahead of time. If you're like me and you buy like two or more pounds of ground beef and then brown it all to use it for several different things, this recipe is for you and it can be done in as little as two to four hours. So let's get started. Okay, so I have the liner in my crock pot right here ready to go. What I have done ahead of time is I have cooked about seven or eight pieces of bacon and crumb, drained it and crumbled it. I've also cooked and drained a pound of ground beef with about a quarter of a cup of chopped onion and we have let that sit to the side. Those things can be done ahead of time if you are making if you like to fry bacon to have to crumble for salads and things like that and the same with the ground beef. So what we're going to do now is we're going to mix up the sauce that makes it wonderful. I have also opened and rinsed a can of red kidney beans and a can of black kidney beans and I've got those setting to the side as well. So now we're going to mix up our sauce. First off, we are going to mix in, let's see, we've got, and I never know how to say this, <laughs> Worcestershire sauce, that's how we say it anyway, that's probably not right, but we're going to put about a third of a cup in a small to medium mixing bowl, and then we are going to add in a fourth of a cup of red wine vinegar to that. That really adds a lot of nice flavor to that. Then we're going to add in a half a cup of brown sugar and you can use um, sugar replacement brown sugar. I'm using full fat brown sugar today. Ah. Then to that we're going to add our seasoning and I know this sounds weird but there's no salt. You don't need any salt whenever you put the Worcestershire in there. Um, it takes care of everything that you would need. Oh and then we need a, a third of a cup of ketchup. That gives us a good ketchup base. And I just got ketchup everywhere. <laughs> Now to that, we're gonna add about a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And keep in mind, these are cowboy beans, so they're a little spicy. If you want them less spicy, either omit it or leave it out altogether. And then about a quarter of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. And then about a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. You can add in about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt if you wanted to but between the ketchup and the Worcestershire, you really, really have enough. So now we are just going to mix all of those together just until that sugar is somewhat dissolved. That vinegar usually makes quick work of that. Now, to a six quart or larger liner of the crock pot, I am going to add in my beans first, black beans and red kidney beans that I have rinsed and drained. And then we're gonna add in our bacon and our ground beef that's already been cooked. So if you're looking for a crock pot meal that is one, that takes less than six to eight hours. Th this is your guy. You can cook this on high for about two hours or you can cook it on low for about four and it's ready. All this does is just kind of bring all these flavors together and season that meat. And we're gonna get all that liquid in there. And don't worry, the beans will cook off some more liquid too. I get all that sauce in there. Now, 
we're ready to go. We're gonna pop the lid on this guy and we're gonna cook it probably on high for about two hours and you'll smell it. Oh, it smells wonderful. And then we'll be back to show you the finished product of these crock pot cowboy beans. So don't go anywhere. Hey everybody, we're back. We finished our two hour on high cook time for these beautiful cowboy beans. Now, full disclosure, <coughs> excuse me, they look a little dark and a little, my kitchen's just dark, but you'll have to trust me, this is perfect. They are perfect. They taste like barbecue beans with just a wonderful, wonderful flavor and they dish up so good. You can add a little cheese and sour cream to these guys and they are fantastic. That smoky bacon, that vinegar based sauce that we made makes this the perfect comfort food. This is not really a soup or a stew. It's something different completely. You could eat this over rice or mashed potatoes, but to me, it's perfect just like this. Let's try it. It's hot. Mmm. It's so good. It tastes like barbecue from a chuck wagon. <laughs> But we made it economically and we made it with some really good pantry staple ingredients. It's fantastic. Let's have another bite. Mmm. Y'all, this just goes to show you, it doesn't have to be pretty to be pretty doggone good. So we hope that you'll try this cowboy beans recipe. It, like all of our others, can be found over at thebutteredhome.com for free. And you've even got lots of room when you print it out to make some notes to make the recipe your own. That's what we want you to do is we want to take our recipes and turn them into something delicious and wonderful. If you have some leftover Boston butt, put it in here. It's fantastic. Add a little mustard and a little barbecue sauce and you just go over the top. There's no limit to what you can do. And this is an easy, really good weeknight meal to have too with pantry staple ingredients that don't cost a lot. Also, if you're not already, make sure that you're following us on all of our social channels. We have a really good time and we want you here for everything that we're doing. This is one of our most favorite times of, years we, of the year because we get to do warm, delicious comfort foods and we have a ton of that that we're going to be sharing with you so you don't want to miss a thing. Also, if you want all of our videos in one convenient place, make sure you head over to YouTube and search for The Buttered Home and when you find us, Hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified when we drop new videos like this one. Y'all, this is delicious. I may not share these with anybody else today. <laughs> and they're even better left over. The longer they sit, the better they get. So let's go have some cowboy beans and from the buttered home to your home. We sure love y'all. Bye.